guys, Jess here. Today, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video, basically questions and answers. And I'm going to be answering a few of the questions that you guys have. It's been a while since I've done a Q&A video and I'm really excited to do it. And a few things apply to the Q&A video. One, I'm only going to be answering questions that I'm comfortable with. Anything super crazy, I probably won't be answering, like anything super personal, but we'll get to that when we get to the questions. And two, I'm not going to be answering any crazy spoiler questions. Some people have asked me questions like what's going to happen to the characters, and in terms of those kinds of questions, you'll just have to wait and watch. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a few questions and provide a few answers, so let's jump on into it. Jess, have you ever thought of doing a skit while cosplaying? If so, what cosplay would you do? So, <laughs> I don't know if you mean like just in general or from the series. Um, so if I, I'm gonna go with the stuff from the series just because I feel like that's probably what you're asking. But um, I would cosplay other characters totally, just so you guys know, like out from outside my series of like the series that I like. Um, I think that if I had to do a cosplay, I would do um, MCD Zane, um, and I would reenact the last episode of Diaries episode 100. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just think that was a cool scene, and like, I would like to do armor in cosplay. So like, I, I would prefer to go that route, where it's just like armor and that kind of stuff, so. And if I wasn't doing MCD Zane, I would probably be doing MCD Aaron, uh, and the final scene in the fight against Zane. So yeah, it would definitely be like the two. Probably. <laughs> I've always wondered. I've watched your series for a while and I've got a bit confused. Is FC University before or after the events of Starlight? I must know. Um, FC University is before the events of Starlight and before the events of My Street Season 1. Um, this is basically like in between My Street Season 1 and Phoenix Drop High. With like, if you're going to put it on a timeline, it would be Phoenix Drop High, FC University, and then My Street Season 1, and then the rest of like the season. And I know it's kind of out of order and it's kind of all over the place, but because of the way that YouTube works and the constraints that we have to work with with YouTube and like posting daily, it's just the way that things worked out. What has been your favorite series and episode of My Street so far? Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. I'm gonna go with this. This is an oldie, but in my opinion, when I was writing it, I enjoyed writing it just because I enjoy Shakespeare a lot. Um, my favorite episode of My Street is definitely the Romeo and Juliet arc, the, the play arc. I absolutely enjoyed that arc. I loved it. It was just, ugh. I have a thing for theater and like just seeing, like being able to write a play within a play was just, really really fun and like as someone who has been in theater before <laughs> I can honestly say like all the mishaps all the drama that goes on behind the scenes is definitely real and like all this crazy stuff that happens between the actors sometimes does happen so yeah just writing that was just it was just really fun and it was also like this bigger like kind of production thing at the time um, when we weren't doing like huge, huge, huge productions. It was like this huge thing we had to put together with multiple scenes and stuff and it was just really cool. Also writing a few jokes and kind of trying to modernize it was really fun. <laughs> I love you so much. And what's your favorite part about being a YouTuber? Aww, I love you so much too. My favorite part about being a YouTuber is definitely, oh my gosh. I just enjoy making stuff, if that makes sense. Like, I enjoy content creation in itself. It's it's really fun to kind of just push your limits, push your boundaries, and see what you can produce while not trying to go crazy at the same time. <laughs> but no, I'm serious. Um, it's really fun to make content. It's fun to see people enjoy that content. And it's fun to basically have you guys with me on this journey. Like. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's fun to do all of these things. It's fun to have people who support you and it's fun to just be yourself, you know? I guess that doesn't really answer the question, but I will refine that later and I will find out what exactly that means. But my favorite part is you guys and content creation and hoping that you guys like me. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the favorite part. <laughs> How do you handle all the stress that comes along with your job? Thinking of becoming a YouTuber myself, so I was just curious. Um, so the stress of YouTube. I, I literally could do a whole vlog on that by itself because that is a very interesting topic. And basically, um, the way that I handle it is that 
there are some times when you have to remember that when you're online, that you're putting yourself out there for everyone to see. You're, you almost feel like very vulnerable sometimes. And it's not a bad thing, it's just the way that you have to handle it and like the way that the situation is because sometimes when you put yourself out there, it can be very, depending on the kind of person you are, like if you're introverted or you're extroverted or you're okay with that information or you're not okay with that information. So the way that I handle it is I basically take a breath, I have to kind of remind myself at like, hey, what people are saying online, they don't like, you know, they probably don't know what they're saying. They're probably trying to vent their frustrations at you. And just remember to kind of keep going. There are some things that you kind of have to let go. Like if people say bad things about you, you can't always focus on the bad things. You have to focus on the good things, the good things that people like about you. But I'm getting off topic. Again, I could do a whole vlog on that. Um, the way that I handle it is sometimes I take like a bubble bath or sometimes I kind of like write down my frustrations and then I just like delete them all. And then I'm like, okay, at the end of the day, if I write all my frustrations out or, you know, delete, like write them, write them out, print them out or like write them, print them, however, rip up the paper and then just remember that like at the end of the day, I'm having fun doing this and like it's very important to kind of de-stress or like go out and do something fun and step away from the computer for a bit. So yeah, that's how I handle my <laughs> stressful situations. Um, or sometimes I just write scripts because sometimes letting out those frustrations in a very productive way is so much better than just you know, daunting on them. That can help you a lot. That's how I take care of my stress, so yeah. The next question is, what made you decide to start your channel? Like, were you inspired or you did you just decide to do it one day? Um, so I've answered this before, but for those of you who are new to my channel and wanna know more about this kind of stuff or know more about me, um, the way that my channel started was basically Jason, my husband, has suggested like, hey, we should do a channel with a group of our friends. And that's how we started off with our channel. Our channel was originally four people, myself, Jason, and two of our friends. Um, eventually the two had to leave, so it was just myself and Jason, like um, after the first, I think, couple months of, the, of like our growth. And then after we started up, um, Jason and I just kept doing content together. At some point, like I realized that I was really good at kind of like writing. <laughs> not that I was good at, like, not that I realized it, but like, I realized that the stuff that I wrote, I really enjoyed doing and putting it on YouTube. That's how I kind of started with like the role plays and stuff like that. But as far as like what made me decide to start my channel, it was just Jason saying like, hey, we should start a YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, we should. And we should do it with our friends. And we were like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so that's how we started off. Were you nervous about making videos at first? If so, how did you get over that anxiety? That's a good question. To be honest, I still haven't gotten over that anxiety myself. I still, like whenever I start a video like this or whenever I start something like this, um, I get very nervous, I get very shaky, I kind of have to like shake it out before I start. Um, and even when I'm recording, sometimes I still have that anxiety. And I already have like anxiety myself. So doing videos definitely takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot to put yourself out there. It takes a lot to basically talk to a camera and hope that like, you know, you're not doing the wrong thing or you know, that you look okay and stuff like that. But the way that I got over that anxiety was I kind of stopped and I realized that if I enjoy doing this and I want to do this, that I have to keep going at it. I have to keep trying to be better at what I do. And that takes time and that takes practice. And the only way that you're going to get practice is if you do it. So, <laughs> so I put myself out there still with anxiety, but knowing that I, I can do better and that I can keep trying and that somewhere out there, there's someone that will probably be inspired to do the same. And if you're watching this and you wanna do this, but you're also nervous, just remember that you can do it. And I believe that you can do it. What would be your job if you weren't a YouTuber? Um, that is an interesting question. I probably would be, um, so to give you guys an example of like what I was doing before I became a YouTuber, I had uh, two jobs before like I had kids. Um, and then when I had kids, I was a stay at home mom. 
So I would probably be a stay-at-home mom for maybe about like three to four years. During that time, I would try to pursue probably like child education or something in the medical field. So I would probably be doing something around that. And then I would probably think about streaming on the side, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, it would be one of those two though. That's a good question. <laughs> How did you feel when you knew that people began to enjoy your content? Love your videos, Ah. <laughs> I don't know how to describe the feeling, but it felt great. I honestly don't care if it's like one or two people that was enjoying my content at the time. Even if it wasn't role plays and it was just other things, it was just wonderful to have people who were just like, I wanna see more of this. I wanna, I wanna support you, you know? I wanna, this one hits close to home for me because I'm so grateful for like everything that I've been given. Um, but it meant a lot just to have like my first comment, the first time someone said, I really enjoyed this, I really like this. It just made my heart explode. And to see more people enjoying my content, to see more people liking this, like sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but when I can put a smile on somebody's face, that means so much more to me than like, I don't know. So yes. It just made me feel really happy and I was excited and I'm still excited to this day. And I'm gonna keep doing what I do because I enjoy making you guys smile. I enjoy smiling with you guys. And I just enjoy doing all of that. So yeah. Alrighty guys. Well, that was very emotional and like crazy. And um, so anyway, that's it for this Q&A video. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know down in the description. Description, don't. Uh, why do I keep saying description? <laughs> Just let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, and if so, maybe I'll do another Q&A, like maybe part two, and we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for everything. I appreciate it, and I, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.